Welcome to the Android Guys Show. My name is Scott. And I'm Luke. Today's episode, we have a couple of things we're going to unbox. Yep. Uh, later on, Luke and I will look at a couple of products from Oclean. Yeah. They are uh, oral hygiene related products. Yep. And then we'll also take a look at the Shift Cam Pro Grip. Yeah. And that's like a starter kit. So uh, a couple of fun accessories to take a look at. And then later on, we will do a couple of reviews. This week, we're going to get back into some apps. Yeah. It's been a while. Yep. So we thought we would go back to doing some games or apps. And then uh, that'll be it. Nice yeah. and short. Sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, uh, Luke, what you been up to? Not a whole lot, man. It was uh, Super Bowl this past weekend. Yep. Uh, it was a good game, man. It was. Uh, I had no stakes in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, it was, but it was a good game to watch. There was uh, plenty of uh, back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, And, you know, it was fine. I think the best part for me was probably the halftime show. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, a throwback to the 90s era, West Coast style rap, hip hop. Yeah. It was, it was nice. It felt good uh, to see those guys doing stuff, man. You know, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg have been in the game for a long time. Right. And like, they seemingly didn't miss a beat, mm-hmm. you know? I It's, uh, and they were going around, like, th- that set was pretty elaborate. Pretty cool, too. Yeah. It was, like, it was very simplistic, mm-hmm. but if you paid attention to where people were going and what they were doing, there was a lot of, you know, moving parts to it. Yeah. And, uh. It was good. It was just a good show all around. Um, other than that, man, just watching a couple shows. We we had uh, the end of Book of Boba Fett, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, staying up on Righteous Gemstones and Peacemaker, and then I started watching this Inventing Anna show on Netflix. Right. Um, two episodes into that, and uh, I like it so far. I'm intrigued. Yeah. I had I knew nothing about the story going into it, and. Um, I don't know. It's funny because they say like everything is true except for what we made up. So it's like, all right, that that helps. That doesn't help me at all as somebody going into it going, is this real? Right. Like, I don't know what is real and what's fake. And the story is very um, fantastical. Yeah. But also believable. So it's hard to go, oh, they made that up or. Oh, I could see that being true. Like both things, you know, having known the story, read about it, watched it, some different things on it. I will be interested to see how it translates to a a retelling or an adaptation, Mm -hmm. uh, a fictionalized version of it, just to see what was embellished or made up Mm -hmm. for it. So how many episodes is that? I don't know exactly. I want to say it's probably eight. Okay. Maybe six. So I don't know. So it's more than just like two or three. Yeah. Okay. Um, But that's really it, man. I haven't really been up to much else. I got a cricket for Christmas, and so yeah. I've been messing around with that. I uh, made a sign for the We've got some signage on our here. door, yeah. And then I've been messing around making other stuff. I put a, a decal on my, one of my wife's water bottles for her that just says water, <laughs> because that's what she wanted on it. And I was like, all right, that's fine. But she likes that Ray Dunn font, that yeah. the whole style. So I, f- I found that font and I made her a, a little decal that just says water on her thing. Because all of the Ray Dunn stuff is like, it just says what it is on sure. her thing. Like, you know, the sugar thing just says sugar. Or, right. you know, measuring cups are just, you know, what they are. And there's no, like, funny sayings or quotes or anything. It's just very, like... Very minimalist yeah. kind of design. Yeah. So... But I've been messing around with that. I got some cool stuff. I got a new engraving tip for it. I'm going to try to do some engraving and some plastic and wood and stuff. And that's really it, man. Just kind of messing around with that stuff. How about you? I had an interesting weekend. Yeah. We went um, yesterday, Mm -hmm. Sunday, uh, to a cryo place. Yeah. So my wife surprised us. She It was like a leftover Christmas kind of gift thing nice. that we uh-huh. would have gone to earlier had the family not not gotten all COVID sick right. and yeah, yeah. stuck at the house. So yeah. um so my wife, myself, 
our son and his girlfriend. Uh huh. And we went to this uh, place where uh, you essentially uh, get down to shorts and socks and gloves and go into this kind of stand up little room. Mm hmm. And it blasts you and fills with cold air. Yeah. And uh, I'm not all in on like all of the health benefits of it. I know it's sure. a whole thing. Yeah. Um, it was more of the experience of just trying it to see mm-hmm. if we can do it. And uh, there, yeah, it, it's very cold. How cold does it get? We did the medium kind of like setting where she's like, here, start here. The goal is to kind of get your skin temperature to drop. 30 to 40 degrees okay or 20 to 30 i think um so my skin temperature she scanned my arm she's Mm -hmm. like you're about 90 and then when we came out my skin temperature was 51 and you're in there for how long i was in there for three minutes oh wow and the temperature gets down to 150 below wow and has kind of like this breeze that starts to come in on the top you really start to feel it on your shoulders yeah so as you're doing this, um, I'm in there with my wife and we're like looking at each other and we're watching in real time as like frost starts to develop on your eyelashes and oh, eyebrows. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh, wow. My son was telling me they could see kind of into it. The booth is like dark blue kind of like effect sure. to make it look cold. Yeah. But uh, you, as you're in there, you see these like lights that are purple and then they turn blue to kind of give you an idea of like how much time is left. Uh-huh. But we're looking out there at them, and they're giving us, like, uh, a cue of, like, one minute left mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you start to really feel it coming down on your shoulders. And she's like, you know, teeth chattering is normal. Um, shivering, all that, you know, that's no big deal. Right. So you can push the door open anytime you want mm-hmm. if you feel like you have to. Um It's cold. I feel like I could do longer if I didn't have an audience in front of me. Sure. And if I... Like now knowing exactly what I'm up against. Right. But there are like two levels of colder beyond that. Oh, wow. And you can stay in there longer. Okay. So. So as you get, if you, if it becomes like a weekly thing, you yeah. probably, your body gets used yeah. to it and you build up a tolerance and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. We, we all talked about what was our favorite part mm-hmm. uh, because there were two other things that we did. And uh, so it's. It's a it's a really cool <laughs> yeah, <laughs> experience. Yeah. Um, the second part of the uh, day, we did a half hour of compression therapy. Oh, okay. Which is for us, they asked us, "Do you want to do uh, legs, hips, arms?" Mm-hmm. And you know, she's like, "If you want to mix arms with any of the other two, you can do that." Arms aren't really everybody's favorite thing to do. So after having done it, I can kind of see why yeah. that is. Uh, so for us, you kind of – I was the first one. You hold your arm out and they kind of like slide this long sleeve over you. Uh-huh. And it's kind of like a like a straight jacket kind of feeling. Uh-huh. But you're kind of like a, uh, a starfish. So okay. you kind of like lay down in this chair and you just sit there. Yeah. And you feel these sleeves just kind of like fill up at different spots, and they're like, like the blood pressure thing at the yes. drugstore. Yes, nice. Which feels good, yeah. right? It's yeah. kind of cool. So it'll start kind of like down at your hands, and uh-huh. then you'll feel it here, and then maybe up here, and then um, she starts that at like fifty percent, mm-hmm. and then she'll walk around for each of us. How are you doing? And you can dial it up if you want more in your hands or your shoulders. Then I also did hips. Mm -hmm. So I'm laying there and you kind of feel it doing like your thighs, your Mm -hmm. butt, and you kind of feel like you're like rising up in this chair. Yeah. But the the four of us are just kind of like looking up and down the (laughs) and we're just stuck. And then poor Whitney, uh, down at the other end, she was the last one in, but she got an extra long set of sleeves. Oh. (laughs) So for her, she was sitting down there and she's the smallest of all four of us. Uh So she was trapped in this thing. And it I mean I think all of us felt the same way. My wife took the the arms off halfway through Mm -hmm. and the rest of us were like, yeah, probably wouldn't do it again. Yeah. But um, I've got a picture I'll show you with her. So you can see. Oh, geez. (laughs) (laughs) So she's stuck in that thing. There's my son. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's awesome. So that's a 30 minute thing. That's cool. And then, so I had her like, yeah, add it, you know, another, you know, 20% to a mm-hmm. 10% kind of play with it. But I would do that one again. Um, and I feel like I would have headphones in. I would probably like sleep through it. Yeah. That felt really good. Nice. And then the third part was the sauna. Oh, cool. So they yeah. get 30 minutes that way. Kind of warm you back up. Yeah. And it gets up to 150 in there. So it's okay. kind of like a 300 degree swing. Wow. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice change of pace. Yeah. It seems like a Something cool experience different. at least. Yeah. So. Nice. I would I would recommend it just to try it, just to see yeah. it. And like, yeah, man, it's it's pretty awesome. So. Nice. Yeah. That was that was my weekend. Um Watch a little bit of this and that. Yeah. You know, but uh, other than that, pretty chill. There was one other thing I was going to wait for the show to tell you. All right, let's do it. But I can't remember what it was. Oh, cool. Do you remember at all? I don't. I oh, like, yeah, yeah, save yeah. It for the show. Uh, it was uh, something about things. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to play well. <laughs> well, we can cut it out. It's fine. No, something about things. Was it? Yeah, I can't remember. You gotta tell me about. I was like, oh, I'll just save it for the show. Was it food? Nope. Yes, air fryer. Yes, air fryer life. That's what it is. So we got on the, uh, a recent TikTok um, had been feeding, or mm-hmm. Instagram had been feeding these things, and my wife had shared a few. They are. Uh, some air fryer recipes that are like real quick and easy things yeah. to fix. So get a piece of bread, uh huh. get a spoon or a fork and kind of imprint, make like a recessed little uh-huh. kind of like trough in yeah. the bread. And then you make um, kind of like a custard out of yogurt and an egg, kind of mix that, mm-hmm. put a little bit of cinnamon if you want in there. And then you just kind of put that inside the bread, mm-hmm. and then you put like slices of fresh fruit, like strawberries or blueberries. Put that whole thing in the air fryer, I think three fifty for ten minutes, mm-hmm. and you've got yourself a nice custardy kind of Danish thing that comes out. Really? Yeah. Is it good? It's very good. We did two of them. Nice. Uh, we just kind of wing it, did our own little thing, and I can show you a little picture of that as well. Little finished. Ooh, yeah, that looks real nice. They're real good, dude. Yeah. So if you catch it when it first comes out, it's nice and warm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an easy one. Nice. Yeah. It's like I think it's custard toast is what if you mm-hmm. search for the trends. Okay. But uh, I saw somebody doing like pizzas on mm-hmm. like Texas toast. Yeah, I think a Texas toast would be really good for this. Yeah. Because then you can like really make it a like a dessert kind of like mm-hmm. sweet thing. Yeah. Then, oh, and then you can, in your batter or whatever your custard is, or at the end, drizzle some maple syrup on it. Oh, yeah. So I told my wife that I thought this would be perfect with like a side of like two pieces of bacon. Oh, sure. To kind of balance that sweet, Mm -hmm. savory kind of thing. Yeah, it's like a good breakfast kind of thing. Yeah. So that's cool. You're watching or listening, custard toast. Custard toast in the air fryer. Air fryer life. Air fryer life. (laughs) Yeah, so that's... That's things yeah, that I wanted to talk that's about. That's the things. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, yeah, let's get into some unboxings then. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do a quick break. Yep. We'll come back and take a look at two things and then another thing. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Part two. Yep. This is the unboxing and kind of highlights segment of the show Yep, where we just kind of dive into a box of something maybe the first time, maybe we've had a peek inside Mm -hmm. to just kind of show you some things that we receive here at the studio Yep, that um, might be interesting to you, worth checking out. Sometimes they're directly related to cell phones. Sometimes they're a little bit tangential. Yeah. Sometimes they're smart home, security, cameras. Sometimes they're just home and office things. Yep. Because. Because. Yeah, because. <laughs> I don't have a reason for that. Yeah. Uh, but generally, the things that we do see or have companies kind of reach out to us, we kind of vet that and say, yeah, that's in our wheelhouse. That's not. Mm-hmm. There are a few things that we're just kind of like, yeah, we don't do uh, shoe racks. Right. We don't do. um 
picture frames and like general home type stuff, but mm-hmm. we'll do things that work in the home. Yeah. Uh, smart things. Smart things usually. Yeah. So, or now that everybody's doing like a work from home mm-hmm. kind of lifestyle, we have, uh, you know, people who have had to kind of learn to do things like health and fitness at home Yep. or had to do, you know, new desks, new workplace things, new right. chairs, things like that. So, We'll get into that stuff. But uh, today, Mm -hmm. Luke, the first thing you're going to show us is the Shift Cam Pro Grip Grip. Starter Kit. This is the Starter Kit. Yeah. So this thing, uh, we got offered this and we saw it and we were like, hey, this is actually something that we could use um, for uh, any kind of travel. You know, every once in a while we go to a convention or something like that. And this thing... It's sweet because it uses your cell phone mm-hmm. as the camera, but it gives you a little bit more capabilities uh, with your phone. So in the mm-hmm. box here, you got uh, some sort of uh, like documentation, mm-hmm. and then you got a travel case with the grip inside. You have a USB C to C cable. Mm-hmm. And braided, no less. Braided bonus C-C-C. points. And you have these extra bumpers for uh for the grip itself. We'll show you that. And a little hot shoe adapter for like a microphone or a light or something like that. So the case comes in this nice travel pouch. It has a uh little mesh pocket on the outside. And then you open it up and it's um formed to fit the grip nicely so it stays secure in the case and then you have the grip so the grip here it has a a hand hold like a hand strap and then it's ergonomically uh, made to just fit your hand really nicely it's got uh, a spot here for a thumb grip and then you have your button here that will control uh, shutter functions and powering on uh, your camera, you're starting the video or anything like that. Um, back here, you have some LED indicator lights for when you're connected to Bluetooth mm-hmm. um, or to check the status of the actual charger itself because this has a rechargeable battery in it and it will also provide power to another device mm-hmm. uh, through the USB C. So if you want to charge up headphones or you know, a power brick or maybe an LED light you have powers off USB-C. You might be able to run both of them together. Or if the phone you're using doesn't have wireless charging, you could charge right it out from there and plug into it. Yep. So it's a 6,400 milliamp hour battery. So that's, that's a huge battery. Bigger than what your phone comes with. Um, this, uh, the holder for the phone is kind of a squeeze style. We've seen that with other camera devices. Um, to just fit whatever kind of phone you have. And then it will move if you want your phone in landscape or portrait mode. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the fault is landscape because that's the default for, you know, filming video or something like that. But if you want to go upright for something like, uh, you know, Facebook live, or YouTube live or Instagram story or something like that, you can do that. Um, on the back here, there's nothing, none of this does anything. It's just designed with the, uh, um, just the logo of the mm-hmm. company. Um, and then inside here, there's two buttons for uh, your Bluetooth connection and to turn on and off the power for charging things. So it will turn off so you're not uh, wasting it. On the bottom here is a uh, dial that you can turn to access uh, the port for charging you can move it in case you know you need to move it and then also will go on to a a tripod Mm -hmm. or a light stand or something like that Um, and then the top here has another spot for another adapter and that's where that hot shoe mount comes in you can put that right on um, here and it's got a little thumb screw here to tighten down or you can go directly into it with another device if you want but that gives you access to move. And then you would put around. on top of here a light source, yeah, light or a, microphone. Or a shotgun mic or something like that. Mm-hmm. So it gives you just a little bit more pro level 
support. Uh, the other thing that this company does is they have lenses too. Mm-hmm. So they have a whole um, set of lenses, like a macro, a telephoto, all kinds of stuff for photography and videography. Um, we didn't get those, but uh, I imagine it's similar to any uh, kind of third party lens system that we've seen before. Yeah. Um, they're, I think they have a universal mount that fits most phones, and then they do have some for specifically for iPhone. Right. Um, and yeah, the, the idea is to pair their lenses with the grip and get kind of uh, the most pro kind of on the go setup that, yeah. you, that you can have for a, a smartphone. So um, holding a phone normally, if you're doing video, mm-hmm. you know, one hand, uh, if you use two, it makes a big difference in stabilization. Right. And then with something like this, it kind of feels a little bit more natural, the mm-hmm. ergonomic. And I liked when I kind of played with this, that it's not like a 90 degree handle. Yeah. Because when you hold that, because then you keep your wrist from having to right. be flexed the entire time. Right. It feels really good and it. It doesn't feel, I mean, when I put my hand in there, it just, it fit. Right. It fit normal. There's, there's no question on where everything's supposed to go. And then another thing with holding video, if you have two hands kind of holding your camera to tap the screen to record or to do whatever, then that's a different mm-hmm. motion. Right. Where here, it's just, it's in your finger. Yeah. You just got to click to record and then you can tap your screen still for focus or anything like that. Yeah. And you have the ability to, you know, if you, put your elbow to your body, you're going to keep it real steady. Right. And then you can tap for focus or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty, pretty ingenious design. I'm, I'm going to, uh, spend a little more time with it, but I'm, I'm impressed so far and everything I've seen and the quality. Um, this will hold, uh, devices that are 58 millimeters to mm -hmm. 90 wide. So with and without phone cases, pretty much all Android cases or phones. Right. And then it's got some adapters here. And so if, if you, your phone is narrow. You can put those bumpers in here and uh, there's little holes. They give you some kind of grommets to cover up those holes. But if you take them out, you can just pop in another size depending on the size of your device. Mm-hmm. And then it just stays there real nice. Yep. This um, is the charcoal version. Mm-hmm. They also make it available in ash, okay. which is like a lighter yeah. color, lighter gray. Um, this one runs about 150. Okay, so it's a it's not a nice, bad for yeah. uh you know it's got a extra charger essentially mm-hmm. and Bluetooth functionality. Um, that seems like a very fair price for something yeah. like this. Yeah, I, it's very easy it, when you get into the world of like pro video or something like that for things to just skyrocket in price. Yeah, because they're used to selling to a pro level person. Yep. Um, so this is a nice in between. Good price. Good starter for uh, mm-hmm. vloggers and yep. influencers and yep. people who just like to have a camera with them all the time. A little bit more control. Yeah. And then again, you can mount it on a tripod. So if you've already got a kit with a mm-hmm. light or something, just keep on rolling. Yep. And that's the ShiftCam Pro Grip Starter Kit. Sweet. Thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay. The other items we're going to review here. It's we from a company, Oaklean. Two in one. Yeah. This is, uh, these are both in a same wheelhouse, mm-hmm. same, the brand itself kind of dabbles in the uh, oral hygiene mm-hmm. uh, space. So these are smart though. Yeah. These are, they qualify them as smart. So yep. let's take a look at them. We have, first we have the uh, oral irrigator. Yep. And then we'll talk about the toothbrush momentarily. So this thing is made to uh, looks like just help clean out your teeth. Mm-hmm. It, you have the uh, you know the thing that you have at the dentist where they kind of like spray and then they say spit. Mm-hmm. It's that you get your your own one of these at home. So it's got a a little handle here that removes, and then at the bottom, To the tray? Yep, that's where the water goes. So this will hold. I'm looking here. I've got the notes. This is a 200 milliliter detachable reservoir Mm -hmm. slash water tank. Okay. This will do up to 1,400 pulses per minute. So which 
I would imagine feels like a steady stream. Yeah. At that point. You got a USB-C cable, so A to C mm -hmm. cable. And then it looks like here's all your different tips. There are five distinct flossing modes. Okay. And there are four high-performance nozzles. These so I are imagine high-performance nozzles. Mm -hmm. um, you got a, looks like two different kind of and sprayers yeah like like a more narrow focus and a wider one yep and then you have kind of this is maybe maybe it's a small medium large because this looks like it's a sprayer mm -hmm. too just a no no tip on it sure and then this one here is like it's almost like a spoon so i wonder if it hits it and just kind of sprays out yeah just like it might general... be something where you yeah. Get in the front of your teeth. Just wetting. It, it keeps it from spraying mm -hmm. back. It's kind of a like a shield for right. back spray. Okay. So this has a 30-day battery life on the charge. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. For this a is, home device. Right. So it's USB-C on the end and then USB on the other end. So you just plug it into pretty much anything. If you've got a, a laptop even, I imagine you can charge off of that. Mm-hmm. But 30 days of juice is pretty nice. This is also IPX7. So as you would expect, it is designed to kind of get wet and be wet. Mm -hmm. You can hear that. I can hear the different modes. Yep. Power that off. And then the front is where you have your USB-C mm -hmm. to charge. I'm gonna try putting on one of these tips and see. So you can still you can move it around when it's on there, mm -hmm. and then you just press this button, and it comes out. So it snaps in, it's locked in, and you just press the button and it pops out. So it comes in a powerful mode, standard mode, sensitive, impulse, and point shooting. Okay, those are the five different flossing modes. Huh. And I think pretty cool. if I I like the design of it. Yeah, I it's I was gonna say the I think it also comes in an orange color. So this green, I, I kind of like that. It's kind of mm -hmm. nice organic, kind of clean, minimal thing. It also has an orange. I imagine has a similar design to it, uh, with just a different. And it has color. a very minimal texture on here. You can feel it. So mm -hmm. it's made to help hold on to it. Yeah, which is nice little touch. It, it's very beautiful it's very yeah uh, nicely made it it's made to be able to probably sit out right and not be too uh distracting right um you know i don't know if you have a sh shared restroom or you have you know just one bathroom and you have guests coming i don't know if you want them to see your flosser you know, flosser <laughs> yeah sitting out or your your oral irrigator that might be one you want to show off right Put it on a living room table for a conversation piece yeah. to show everybody. So that is the W10 mm -hmm. oral, in, oral irrigator. Yep. And then we have the other one, I think, is the X-Pro. Yes, the X-Pro. Elite uh, Smart Sonic Electric Toothbrush. A lot of qualifying it's words a, in there. A lot of words. It says, hi. Hello. Real quick, just uh, before we wrap up that other one, or to wrap the other one up, that runs about $60. Not bad at all. For that. Yeah. Now, the Sonic electric toothbrush, this guy runs about 80 And I did check on their website. They do offer some, like, two-for-one bundles. I think they nice. did. I think they were doing, like, a Valentine's Day thing, but mm -hmm. I think they just themed a two-for-one sale, um, like, and by that, I mean it's a discounted price, like a two in sure. one bundle. And this one has a large sized color touch screen on this one, which surprised us that. when we saw that. Um, it's one of those things where you don't have to have that. Right. So it's kind of interesting that it's intentional that they do that. So this has a, I believe, a magnetic mount or wall mm -hmm. mount. So you can peel this guy off, 3M, stick it to the wall, and then the other side of that will stick to the back of the right. toothbrush. 
It bites right in place. And it'll hold it on the wall. Mm -hmm. And then it has, uh, it's actually wireless charging. Set it down in the dock and it charges. Is that a C? No, it's already in the dock. Yeah, it's a, so then it's it's a just proprietary USB. and then it's just USB-A. Okay. Um, and then we got this on. This one has 35-day battery life per charge. And very it, quiet. Yeah, is it on? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's very quiet. And it, it looks like in the settings here, when you turn it on, it's got a little two-minute timer that counts down. So, so you, you know, know you're getting the appropriate amount, amount of brushing. Right. This has 32 intensities. 32? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how you do that and how you know the difference between number six and number seven. Yeah. But that's interesting. Uh, IPX7 waterproof, which is something you would expect to in a bathroom environment that it can get wet without any trouble. Uh, another nice feature about this is it has a two-year warranty. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So a lot of times when you're dealing with a brand, now Oclean is a brand that we've seen uh -huh. uh, kind of in our circle and in our you know, going about our business, but it's not one that I th think we've reviewed. Um, so for some people taking a chance, so to say, with a brand like this or somebody they've not spent time with, there's always that, am I going to, you know, is this thing going to be, you know, a piece of crap and break down on me, but it's backed by a two-year warranty. So if you do have any issues or it is defective, uh, you can get your money, you know, get that thing replaced. So you're going to get your money's worth out of that. It looks like it comes with one brush head. So mm -hmm. I'd be interested to see how often they recommend replacing the brush heads. Among those bundles and other things to buy, mm -hmm. there is one that comes with like a four additional bundle or mm -hmm. brushes. So I don't know if it's in every six month, every 90 days, what they right. recommend uh, for that for wear and tear. Very quiet though. I'm yeah, impressed by the, the yeah. sound level on that. 42,000 RPM motor. So I don't know. Yeah. Revolutions per minute. That's quite quite a bit. And you're using it two minutes at a time. Mm hmm Should be two days, two times a day. Yep. Maybe three. Yep. Depending on what you're consuming. Um or if it's your week to go to the dentist. Right. Then yeah. it's two and three yeah. that week. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh yeah, so that's the X Pro Smart Sonic electric toothbrush. Nice. Uh both of those are from Oclean. Mm-hmm. The Oral irrigator is sixty dollars. Yep. And this guy runs about eighty. And then if you check their website, you can also find some bundles if you're buying more than one for the household, or if you want to buy one as a gift for somebody, there may be some discounts available. Yeah. Um, that's all we got. Yeah. We are going to go now into some reviews. Yep. So we'll take a break and we'll come back and uh talk about a couple games. Yep. See you soon. Okay, we're back with the third segment. That was a little longer break, right? Yeah, it seems like a way longer break than normal. Than normal, yeah, for sure. Uh, so this is the review segment. Yep. And this week you and I are going to review some apps. Yeah, we're bringing it back to some apps. We haven't done those in a while. We've done enough products. Uh -huh. We've got enough products to keep us busy. There's a whole bunch coming in too. Yeah. So let's do some games or things that we've been playing with. Yeah. Uh, I'll go first. Go for it. Okay. So my first one or my app today is a game called Clocky. Okay. This one is a game that is free to play if you have the Google Play Pass. Oh, nice. Okay. So that's included in the bundle. Mm -hmm. uh, if you buy it separately, I checked it's 99 cents. Okay. So I can't speak to whether the ads, you know, how that's going to work in terms of notifications sure. for the 99 cent version. Sure. So I'll speak to the one that's included in the play pass. Okay. So with that, I will say, uh, this is a, it's a, it's a fun, casual way of doing like a puzzle. Mm. Like it is one of those games where you open it up and you basically start playing. You don't know what the rules are. You just kind of basically take these tiles and match them until the pattern just makes sense. Okay. So then when you do that and then you move on to the next level, you've got some kind of like you tap this tile and it'll move with the next tile. Sometimes you'll start out with two, maybe three, mm -hmm. and you'll see like little lines. So you got to figure out how do I make this thing 
finish this puzzle. Okay. So it sounds kind of convoluted and even kind of looking at it mm-hmm. as you start to do that. You can move things from the shape next to it. Gotcha. That completes that puzzle. Okay. So forth. So you'll see that in the video here too. Mm-hmm. There is no home screen. Right. Okay. There is no um, idea, like even what number level you're on. Mm-hmm. Like in your head, you start playing. You're like, oh, this is probably, I'm on four or five. You walk away from the game and come back. You pick right back up where you were, but you don't know what number you're on. Interesting. You can't go back to the home screen. Right. You're just There's kind no of, like main menu or mm-mm. level selection or anything really. And I, I, I feel like it kind of bothered me. Yeah. Because I like a game that lets me go back and try to beat it quicker. Sure. Or to see if I can do a better job of getting the solution, you know, right. and fewer moves. Yeah. The game doesn't tell me how many moves I'm using. Mm. It doesn't qualify anything. It doesn't quantify anything that you're doing. Okay. So you're just kind of pick it up, play with it, and move on. Now, as you get through the puzzles, You'll find there are other ones that you can kind of do. And I think, yeah, we'll go through this. You can see there are different puzzles. Uh And it's kind of nice. You have to figure out, am I, you know, on these tiles, am I going to make the patterns so it looks like it rounds corners? Mm -hmm. Uh, Then you'll have like a 3D shape. So the pattern is like a Rubik's Cube. But then you want to line things up so the image kind of wraps around the edges. Yeah, you're trying to continue the line, basically. Right. So some of that makes sense. Mm Mm-hmm. But then you start to get into some levels where you're no longer continuing lines or trying to end them. Uh-huh. You start to get into where there are basically like dominoes. Oh. And you have to figure out, you know, which pattern am I doing black and white? You know, as you know, right. move the black and the blue, some of them put up a white dot. Uh huh. And trying to figure out what is the pattern it's asking me to do. That's when it starts to get to that, it gets a little aggravating mm-hmm. because it's there's no direction almost. because there's no direction. Sure. There, there isn't something that kind of shows you like what you're looking for mm-hmm. or even the first time you change the mechanics. Here's a sample one. Now move on. Right. You don't have any of that. So I found that to be a little frustrating. You're just kind of going in blind, just yeah. clicking just to see what happens. Yep. So I don't know what. Is going to happen. Now, that's nice because I don't know how many levels there are. I don't know how many moves it takes. But once I got to where I'm at, I have no idea what the object is. Because sometimes it'll put up a white dot. Sometimes it doesn't. Right. And I don't know. And it just kind of got to a point where I was like, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Interesting, yeah. I'm kind of frustrated by it. I don't know how far I am in terms of like, hey, man, you're really just getting started. There's Mm -hmm. a whole world of puzzles here yeah or is this the final one right and as i looked it up in the play store i even found that people were saying that uh some similar feedback but some people were saying not nearly enough puzzles Mm. i was able to beat this in two or three sittings so i kind of feel like i'm getting to the end of this sure but i I, i'm not sure what this puzzle is asking me to do right so it's almost like it's designed as just a activity to do yeah. You know, it's just something to keep you busy. There's not really a and there are a games score to travel to. There's right. no no competition, right? It's no just, sharing my number of moves with anybody else. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate when games are that way, mm-hmm. but this particular one just kind of uh, it's it a was, little too light. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good game mm-hmm. right up until it stopped being right. And okay. so score wise, if you want to average this up, sure. Um, I gave it basically threes on pretty much most of it. I okay. did give it four. Again, this is a qualified four mm-hmm. because it is. Uh, there were zero ads. Now that it's included in the game, in the play pass, I don't know if I've got more levels. I'm right. not sure if I, you know, if things were unlocked. And I don't know how often an ad is being portrayed for people. If it's once every level, right? That would get pretty frustrating. Mm-hmm. Um, so that comes out to I've got a three point two, yeah, above average. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, it was a fun game right up until it wasn't. It looks gorgeous. It's very minimalistic. Mm-hmm. The color palette is very pleasing to the eye, and the music. There's like this ambient. Yeah, it's very calming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so playing it with headphones, it's you know all the sounds and all the little things that you do are cool. Yeah, but just give me a little bit more direction. Yeah, sure. 
I, I can tell you that I did fall asleep stuck on this level because <laughs> I was like, I'm going to try this game and see if I can just do well before I go to bed. Yeah. That just that ambient noise sure. at that point. And then I kind of just kind of tuned out because I'm like, I don't know mm-hmm. what I'm doing. I'm staring at this thing, trying to read into it. Right. And I was just like, you know, so that that was probably the third time trying at that point. And then sure. I, I, again, I haven't moved beyond it. So I'm kind of like, eh, it is right. what it is. So Okay. Yeah, so that's Clocky. The developer is Rainbow Train. They do have a handful of other games. Okay. And I do see that they're generally about 99 cents in the Play Store. Okay, cool. So. All right. Well, thanks, Scott. Thank you. All right, Luke, it's your turn. Yeah. So well, what do you I, got? I have a game also. Uh, this is a game called Rush Royale. It is by a company called my uh, my.com BV. Um, they have, I don't know, like... What are you doing there? I'm just messing with oh. your game. <laughs> I was confused. Um, they have a handful of games in the Play Store. This one is free. It offers in-app purchases, uh, much like every other free game. Mm-hmm. Um, this is your classic tower defense game. It's in my wheelhouse. I'm addicted to them. Uh, this one is uh, you have different characters um, that you get cards for. And you can build your roster. Um, there are a whole bunch of characters, and they range anywhere from common to rare to epic, and then legendary characters. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you go through, you unlock more, and you get uh, chests and coins. Coins unlock um, the levels of your characters, and then the gems you can use to. Um, unlock chests or to uh, buy certain things in the store, stuff like that. Okay. So the chests might include other characters or yep. random or okay. random uh, cards, or there's uh, little uh, different kind of each card has a, I guess a style or a, a character trait. Mm-hmm. Like there's like light and dark and nature and tech and stuff like that. So it, it'll give you sometimes like a, a tech coin, which will be used to ascend a tech card to the next um, value and maybe get an extra ability on that card. Okay. Um, but the ultimate gameplay is just a, a simple tower defense game. You're laying your cards down. Your You have cards to build your characters up. And then when the match starts, you're playing PVP against somebody else or you're playing co-op with another stranger trying to defeat a wave of monsters. Um, In co-op, you're trying to defeat the monsters before they get to your castle. Mm -hmm. In the PVP, you're killing monsters and sending them over to the other person's side to try and overwhelm their lane and make them uh, lose. Um, So you'll spend money to put a random character down, and then you can merge that character with, um, the same level mm-hmm. of the same type of character to make it stronger. Okay. So it's it's basically you're buying characters, merging them, and then you can level them up in the battle up to level five is the highest. Okay. So one to five level. And you can merge them like a one to nine mm-hmm. merge rank. Um, and there's all kinds of – there's fast attack ones. There's ones that do – chain damage there's ones that do splash damage there's ones that do like a a dot effect where they'll damage enemies over time or Mm -hmm. trap the enemy or slow them down all kinds of different characters nothing really that we haven't seen before sure um the main difference with this app that i've discovered one it looks gorgeous Mm this the style the animation it's all very well done and it seems like it's a fairly active player base you can join a clan and then you can do um, clan tournaments where you're fighting other clans. Mm-hmm. And if you win, you get better rewards at the end of the week. Okay. Um, but you can donate cards to people in your clan and get cards from, mm. from people Okay. Um, as a way to upgrade your cards. Uh, but the main difference is the, the characters or the cards themselves. So like I said, once you get to a certain level, once you hit level nine, I believe it is, you have the ability to ascend your cards, which means you can unlock, like if something does a slowdown effect 
it also, once you ascend it, might, um, instead of slowing them down, freeze them in place for a certain amount of time, or it might freeze the enemy mm. in, sure. when it's merged, or it might, um, when merged, might give your other characters around it a faster attack speed for a certain amount of time. It just makes those cards just slightly better. Mm -hmm. And you can still upgrade their levels without ascending them if you want. And you can still upgrade their power and everything. You just unlock extra abilities if you ascend. But those take those extra tokens or crystals okay. to do. That's the main difference. Um, the other thing is the bosses you fight. So you'll you'll have waves of enemies. And at the end of each, at the end of a certain amount of waves, there's a boss that comes. And the bosses do different things. Well, you can collect those bosses and they can be your defense in the um, PVP clan wars. So you can put those monsters as your defense when other clans are trying to attack you. Okay. So Got it's it. a kind of a cool feel. It's a little bit different than other things that I've played at least. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last difference is your actual character itself has a ability um, we've seen that before in like the dice clash game and stuff right. like that. But this one, you get an ability, but then you also have items that your character can equip. So if you equip a sword, you might have a better attack modifier. If you equip a spear, you might have a better crit chance. You equip a bow, you have fact faster attack for your characters. Sure. Or you can wear like a, an amulet that gives you one spot on your grid, which is, uh, the standard uh, four by four mm -hmm. grid. Um, it might give you one square whenever a character is there, they have a higher attack value. So there's some random things yeah. that you can get to. There's a lot of variety <laughs> in, in building your deck and building your, um, your team that it, it feels like there's a little bit more to do than your average yeah. tower defense game. Okay. Um, Looking at it, it was very, Colorful, very, very colorful. attractive graphics. Yep, and the soundtrack is pretty cool. It's very um, like kind of fantasy theme, very light and easy, fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the sound effects are pretty good as far as like the monsters or the slashing of swords or shooting of like electricity and stuff like that. It sounds pretty good. Overall, I gave this thing a three point eight. Okay, so, so pretty high marks. Yeah, uh, overall, I gave everything a four except for the audio. I gave a three because mm -hmm. it's not bad. It's just it's average. Okay, it's good. Yeah, it's nothing that blows me away. Um, but everything else got a four. The features because there's so many things you can do. Mm -hmm. The graphics look great, so I gave them a four. Replay value. There's so many different kinds of teams you can build. Um, you can also have up to five pre-made teams, so you can quick swap between them without having to redo a deck every time. Nice. Um, and then as a notifications, there's really no out of app ads. I don't get any notifications outside the game, but in game there are certain quests, daily quests, weekly quests, monthly quests. Mm -hmm. And one of the daily quests that's always there is an ad quest. And if you watch 10 ads, then you get an ad chest, which is a more, Coins and cards and okay. loot and stuff like that. Ten. Ten ads. Okay. So it's over the course of, um, you know, 24 hours you can mm -hmm. watch ten ads. There are other things that would give you, like, you'll get a boost in your um, – trying to pull it up here. You get a boost in your PvP section or in your co-op section. You'll see a little ad bubble show up here, and if you click and watch an ad – You'll get extra coins or extra mm. tokens to get you up to the next level. Okay. So they do things to kind of incentivize you to watch those ads. Sure. They're, you're getting something for them. Um, but, you know, an ad is an ad, right? Yep. So, yep. but nothing so far has been a forced ad where you have to watch an ad to, right. to proceed. There's no like, hey, you finish this battle, here's an ad until you get to the main menu. And None the game doesn't. Say, hey, come back. No. You've accumulated this, or it's time to battle this. No. Nope. Take on somebody in a right. Okay. That's so good. yeah, it's it's very um non intrusive that way. Good. Uh but yeah, that's Rush Royale. Okay. It's free to play and uh there's in app purchases. All right. That's pretty much it. Thanks, Luke. No problem.
All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.